Hello, I'm Burning Brute, and today on the front, we're going to be looking at a little bit of a refined version of our trap hallway. Um, yeah, so we built a few of them, we did some testing, and we figured out some stuff, and today we're going to put it into practice. Um, so I, I'm going to be releasing another video that uh, shows kind of how to build this trap hallway. Um, but for now, we're going to do a video about this trap hallway in action. Uh, so a couple important things about doing your trap hallway is when you do them, uh, try and keep the footprint of your trap hallway kind of symmetrical for the pathing of the AIs when they get flung off. Uh, they're going to run back, and sometimes if you have a lot of nook and crannies, uh, they'll get stuck in there and sometimes they won't path back to the front so we kept this pretty clean it's basically a big rectangle uh, we have a decent chute for an opening the stairs we made tungsten the rest of it we made out of steel because we plan on running some higher level waves with this uh, most of the damage is going to be coming from these meat grinders they're a pretty basic early trap as well as the floor spikes and we have the arrow walls only set to attack the elite creatures. And if you notice how we do this, um, we have it set shoot it's shooting towards the back of the AIs. So when the shield guys all come in, um, they're not just going to be soaking a whole bunch of arrows. This is actually going to shoot them from the back, and this is going to help. Hopefully. Or not. Who knows. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to fire this up. Um, another thing I wanted to kind of throw in there too for information, we do have two auto turrets set to flying creatures. Uh, that's just for the eagles. Uh, and then at the front, we have two devastators here, and those are set just for uh, the rock bosses that spawn. Okay, so that's the only turret coverage that we have. Um, the other expense of running this hallway is, of course, stone arrows, and stone arrows are super, super easy to mass produce. Uh, so that's kind of why we stuck with the uh, stone arrow approach. Bullets, the rifle bullets, they're pretty cheap. So that for the um, eagles, it's a it's a pretty cheap expense. Devastator rounds for the rock boss. Uh, considering the damage of what they can do to your trap hallway. A uh, couple devastator rounds. Hopefully that works. Right here at the corners of our springboards, uh, we placed a blade trap. These meat grinders, sometimes when the invisible chicks are running up here, um, if they're invisible, the traps won't fling them. But we noticed that if you put a meat grinder in the corner here, sometimes when they're running past, it'll hit them and it'll knock them out of invisibility. So if you put it at like the inside pivot point for a corner, um, they're gonna have to run past it. So it's just extra precautions to make sure that we get the blade chick flung off of the recirculating portion of the hallway. So just like the other trap hallways, like I mentioned, this one works in two, uh, two parts. We have our damage room and then we have our recirculating um, walkway. And this actually goes all the way around, all the way around to the back. I think there's 28 of these on here, maybe 27. I think we deleted one. <laughs> so there's 27 of these, uh, something like 18 meat grinders, 14 floor spikes, and six wall arrows, three ballista turrets. So yeah. We're going to fire this up and uh, see how it does. Okay, right off the bat, the turrets were going.
That seems to be holding out pretty good. We'll try and get a decent spot here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to put a walkway there. I was going to, but I never did. Okay, so see, there's the blade chick. Sometimes she makes it past the springboards if she stays invisible. But for the most part, all the other AIs, they are recirculating. You can see they have to walk along this entire thing. Some of these springboards will be reloaded by the time these guys are making it down here, so... I feel like anywhere above 24, 26 springboards, you're going to do pretty good. Um, and yeah, it gets down to basically just kind of pick a corner as your control point, and uh, nothing will get past you. It's weird how the pathing is working. They seem to be getting jammed up there. Kinda odd. I gotta figure out how those critters are falling down. Or maybe they're on the other side of the wall, I'm not too sure.
Okay. Just like that. Uh, we'll turn the trap sounds down just a little bit. So, there we go. The reason why you'd want to build something elaborate like this, um, it, it's kind of elaborate. There's a few tiles behind it. Um, it it's to save you am ammunition. Doing these defense waves, you're going to get a lot of loot. Um, because it just spawns so many enemies. Uh, a lot of loot, a lot of shards. If you collect all these resources as well, while you're going through everything, um, you're going to end up being able to farm a lot of resources from some of these waves. Uh, there's some purple tungsten BPs, a bandit assault rifle, um, spices. The majority of our spices we actually get from these defense waves. All those steel tools you can put down in the recycler. Uh, yeah, doing these defense waves, super, super fantastic to get so many different resources. Um, it, it's not a lot. It's not going to prevent you from having to farm. However, it is going to give you just a little bit extra and a little bit extra of everything. There's some more spices. Um, so, yeah. And each one of these we put uh, 200 arrows in. And that was wave 27. And it seems to do pretty decent. Seems to do pretty decent. We didn't really have to fire too many bullets. Uh, there are some mishaps that occasionally happen. And so, you know, you kind of just um, keep a decent rifle on you for when you get into the higher waves. That would be strongly suggested, as well as, like, uh, med kits. And if you're going to build a trap base, which most commonly people do... Um, if you're on a server and you have multiple people in your group, um, usually uh, one person will make a beacon and that'll end up becoming their base. And then one person will put a beacon down and that'll end up becoming the trap hallway. And this becomes more of like a farming tool. So you're gonna get all kinds of blueprints. You're gonna get all kinds of resources. Uh, we're just gonna run over to the space beacon here. We're gonna collect our stuff. I'll show you a little bit about that. So we go receive supplies, and there we go. Uh, another epic tungsten wall, 2x2, two two, a legendary steel dagger blueprint, 400 more shards, some frag cartridges, that's always nice. But this accumulation of resources could be anything. Sometimes it's uh, helicopter parts, sometimes it's, uh, you know, a stack or something of crude oil. Uh, super, super worth it to get into farming your beacon defenses, especially early game. Uh, one of the things we did day one is we had our base going and we had a trap hallway going. That way while everyone was leveling up, we had pretty much infinite shards. Like there, there was one point on the first day we had like 16,000 shards in a box. So yeah, if you're trying to, you know, if you're trying to get a little bit more of the game, maybe consider making a trap base. Uh, as I mentioned, this is my third attempt at making one, maybe my fourth attempt at making one. Oh wow, look at all that. Um, but each one gets a little bit better and you figure out the pathing a little bit better. And yeah, yeah, it, like I said, it, it adds up between the loot and all the shards and everything. It's definitely worthwhile to look into maybe making one of these. Um, and yeah, there are, a lot of different trap designs like trap based designs out there uh, but one of the things I was looking at is how many bullets they take and kind of the constant grind to be um, manufacturing ammunition just to run these it kind of defeats the purpose of farming it I suppose in my opinion I don't know but that's just me um, so yeah we, we did this with super primitive stuff um, steel building tiles just some cheap turrets there's one diesel generator there, uh, one diesel generator out there, and yeah, if you farm this over and over and over again, you're going to end up with as many shards as you want, honestly, and all the BPs you can imagine, as well as an abundance of miscellaneous resources like spices, bones, iron, copper, all that stuff. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned, we are going to be releasing a video of the build of this trap hallway but yeah it's 
pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Um, as long as you keep in mind about the pathing, a staircase for the entrance of your hallway and a staircase for the entrance to the beacon area, you can come up with some very, very cool elaborate designs. The AI, they seem to path all right upstairs. You noticed during this run, um, they were kind of stopping there for a little bit. That seems fairly typical. Um, but again, the game is early access, so maybe they path better. Maybe they path better if you have this coming in as a straight line and then turning and going back and forth. Um, that's up for you to play with. This is just what we decided to go with. Uh, so yeah. Thank you very kindly for watching. If you liked the content, please like and subscribe and uh, tell your friends. Bye for now.